began with an explosion that led to a chain reaction of events. Yes, Steve? How do Christians believe the world was started? They believe that some almighty being, who they call God, has been here forever and created the world. Yeah, one of my sister's friends says that Jesus is going to come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead. They are so crazy. All right, that's the bell. Go eat your lunch, and when we get back, we'll continue the science lesson on how the world was created. You're a Christian, Samantha, right? Yes, I am, Lutheran. Why? How do you believe in that crap? Because it's true. <clears throat> Why don't you believe in it? Because I don't believe in that stuff. I don't believe there's an almighty God or anything. <clears throat> Why don't you believe in it? There's absolutely no proof of it. But there is. The Bible is the most historically correct document known to mankind. Evolution explains everything. What do you say if I told you that I threw a hundred piece Lego set in the clothes dryer and ran it for three days straight? And when I opened the dryer, the Legos built itself. That's not possible. Yeah, there's no way that could happen. It's basically what you guys believe created the world, except the reaction you believed happened involves many more thousands of pieces. Okay, well then what's the difference between what you believe and what the Catholics believe? I only believe in what's written in the Holy Bible. I don't believe in purgatory. What's purgatory? So the Catholics believe they will go before they meet God in heaven. The Catholics believe that they will serve time there as punishment for all their sins. And after they are cleansed, they will meet God in heaven. Why don't you believe in purgatory? Because it's never mentioned in the Bible. I also don't believe in salvation through good works. Is that also not in the Bible? Hey, Jesus actually clearly says that we are saved through grace, not through good works. Do you believe that Jesus will come down to judge us? Yes, I can't wait for that day. Why? Because I'm part of his flock and my suffering will end on that day. What is his flock? We are all God's children making us part of his flock. How do we become part of his flock? Okay, being baptized in Christ's name. Thanks for explaining this to us, Samantha. Where do you go to church? I go to St. Paul. That's cool.